Foodborne illness is something that I'm particularly concerned about because I like to cook. And one of the things that we probably heard about recently was a recent E. coli outbreak, which is a bacteria that inhabits the gut that was found in Europe based on sprouts. That particular E. coli probably isn't going to find its way into our food supply, but probably the most common problem that we have in our food supply is something called salmonella, another bad actor. Salmonella is most commonly in the United States found in eggs like these. Not these particular eggs, but eggs in general, which is the reason that we want to be very careful about eating raw eggs, knowing where the source is, understanding if they have salmonella or not. To show you how bad it was, in 2010 there was a huge outbreak with a recall of thousands and thousands of eggs. The eggs aren't contaminated on the outside on their shell, but on the inside because the hens who lay the eggs have salmonella in them. So you have to be very careful when dealing with eggs. In fact, salmonella last year was responsible for 23 of the 46 deaths that are related to foodborne illness. So here's some tips. Think of raw eggs as something that you would not want to handle or eat. If you have anything that you use raw eggs on, be sure to wash them out completely and thoroughly and don't cross-contaminate in your kitchen. Make sure the eggs are done properly, which is not overcooked, but you don't want them undercooked either. Raw eggs are potentially dangerous and deadly, and especially to small children whose immune system hasn't developed fully yet. So even though you might be preparing eggs for yourself, if you cross-contaminate on something that can get into your child's food supply, especially infants, it can be a problem for them. Remember this too about food. When food sits out for two hours, especially egg-based products, the bacteria grow to lethal levels. If something's out for two hours, get rid of it. It's a lot easier to throw out food than it is to get sick. Until then, be careful, be safe, wash your hands and your food implements often. I'm Dr. Terry Simpson, and that's Your Doctor's Orders. See more on yourdoctorsorders.com.